And, uh, and, and on Motorama, we had the same kind of turnaround problem. What, what had happened was Warner Brothers had locked up the rights to, uh, to, excuse me, Warner Brothers had optioned the rights to Joseph Mignon's original. And then they commissioned a second draft, which they, they fancied as a vehicle for Sandra Bernhardt. And it took the little boy, who it was his, his journey, and it teamed it up with Sandra Bernhardt, a character that had no presence in the first draft. So he sends me the script, and I read it, and it's pretty good. And, and I liked it enough to say, I want to do it. He says, well, you're going to have to turn it around from Warner Brothers. And so I check all of them. I've got no friend of a friend. I've got no reach into that company on any level, anywhere. So I called their business affairs apartment cold. And they're very polite, but they're giving me the same message that I got from Fox the first time out on Samantha. This is not something we're going to be doing. We're in the business of collecting options, just like Dino explains to me. We're not in the business of surrendering options. So we're going to own this. So then I say to Joseph Mignon, have your agents and attorney send me all the contracts. I got an idea. So they send me all the contracts, and I read them. And then I say, send me the first draft, and I read it. I said, you have a fantastic first draft. He says, I think so. I said, tell me how much more you like the second draft than the first draft. He says, I like the second draft more because it gets made at Warner Brothers, but it, apparently it doesn't get made at Warner Brothers. He says, other than that, I, I prefer we did the first draft. I said, from everything I've read, they optioned the first draft, they commissioned a second draft and own it. The option has expired on the first draft. I believe that I can buy the first draft from you and shoot it. Let's do that. He says, I'm in. So I brought on the attorneys and there's an insurance policy called errors and omissions insurance, which ensures the chain of title. I said, I'll give everything that we know to the underwriters and make sure that they think the same thing that I think. But the movie's going to cost somewhere between one to two million dollars at the end of the day when all the dust settles. It, it ended up costing 1.8 million. And, uh, and I'll buy an insurance policy for five million. If they'll issue the policy, I don't think we have any problems here. And the underwriters for the errors and emissions company uh, read everything that I, I, I had and sent them, and they agreed with my position, and they said, just make sure you don't take a, a, a line of dialogue out of that second draft. Nothing. It's not a problem. I have the first draft. We're going to just shoot it. We're not going to rewrite it. We're not going to do anything except shoot it. And that's exactly what we did.